cook some braised snowshoe hare. It's really Hank Shaw's recipe from honestfood.net. The rabbit is kind of quartered and there's the uh, tenders just kind of cut up into bite-sized pieces. A cast iron uh, pot here, ceramic pot. I, think, I guess you'd call it the Dutch oven. And just, uh, I got it on, I, I heat the whole thing up so I can get more even heat in here. And at about medium high and then uh, about three tablespoons of uh, olive oil here. Smoking a bit. Just gonna brown them. A little bit of salt here. Make sure the olive oil really gets over everything here. A little hotter than I probably want. Like to have it ideally, but you know, maybe I'll turn that down a bit. Touch more salt there. Oh, oh yeah. So we've essentially browned all the rabbit. We got a little bit less uh, kind of charred rabbit than is ideal. Next thing we want to do is uh, brown these onions, not the garlic, just the onions. I have it on about medium. Get them nice and brown. It takes about five or 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. It's okay if you kind of crisp them up a little bit, I think. It adds a little bit of flavor there, so nothing wrong with that. So you want to you want to just let them sit there and let the flavors get in for about five or ten minutes. So I'd say these onions are about browned. A little bit of charring, but that's fine with me to each their own. Throw in the garlic there. Give a little stir. So I'm just going to kind of stir this garlic in here, kind of making sure it doesn't burn. Actually, I'll turn the temperature down now to about medium low. And uh, just keep keep stirring here, make sure the oil kind of gets all over the place. And uh, do this for about a minute or two. So it's been about a minute and a half, two minutes for the garlic. Just starting to get a little golden on the outside. Now I just throw the rabbit gently kind of on top, the onion and garlic. I want to do this quick so that the garlic doesn't burn. It's on still on medium low, but the pan's still hot in general. Throwing everything in here. You can hear the juices from the meat. I'm going to throw the juices from the meat in there just for flavor. Why not? I'm going to throw more salt on it now, just over everything. Quite a bit of salt, actually. That's, that's good, though. And then I have a third cup of sherry vinegar. I'm going to pour that all over everything here. That's simmering. I'm going to turn it down to about, on the, just, just above uh, low. I'm kind of on a simmer here. Then I'm going to get some cold water. And then just pour a little bit, little bit of water in here, just until it gets about halfway up the meat itself. You don't want to fully sub submerse the meat, that's for sure. Probably the less the better, really. I'm comfortable with that. You want to throw in a uh, bay leaf or two. We do one and a half. I always make sure they get a little moist. There you have it. Simmer that for about two hours with the with the lid on.
So it's been two hours, so I'm just going to take a look and see how things are doing in here. So I'll just let that simmer there a bit.